Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of spooky Halloween. I'm one of your hosts, Pleasure, sitting across from me, being extra spooky today. Alex. How you, you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Now, we're not doing anything special for this Halloween, but technically Halloween as a recording is in a couple of days. Alex loves dressing up for Halloween, and also you love kind of decorating, right? Mm-hmm. I love, um, I, I was procrastinating on decorating. Yep. And I was like, oh, God, it's almost there. So I mm-hmm. redecorated it a couple of days ago, and I was like, I did it all in, like, in two hours. Now, you did the, did the giant skeleton make an appearance this year? The Grim Reaper? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes he did. That's important. Yeah, 16 foot Grim Reaper. 16 feet. Achievers. <laughs> it's like bigger than his oh, house. <laughs> behind the scenes, easy achievers. Are you hardwired still? Did no. Did you ever hardwire? I didn't, but I can do that mm-hmm. right now okay. if you want to fill cool. time. You want to do that? Cool. Yep. Sure. Fill so time. achievers, for people who um, like Halloween uh, decorations, this decoration I believe my grandfather gave me, and it was 16 feet Grim Reaper. It's huge. Um, I have another one. It's a if anybody wants to try out, I don't know if anybody goes to the store, Big Lots. There was a T-Rex holding a pumpkin and it lights up. It's like a, it's like a T-Rex dressed up in a skeleton. It's pretty cool. But love decorating. Can't wait for Christmas. Can't wait for all those uh, snickerdoodles and truffles and things like that. Oh, and then Elijah's almost here. Oh, there he is. I'm back. <clears throat> I can't wait to listen to that later. Oh, can't, I bet. I can't wait. Cannot wait. I want to tell you that right now. Achievers, let me know how he did. Tweet at me. I do horrible. I've, score. I, I, uh, score I feel from time. zero to ten. All right, now I am back. I am now hardwired. Alex's woes have now been qualmed. So now, Good, because I looked as soon as you asked me the question, I looked at myself and I froze. Perfect. That's how I knew you weren't hardwired. Perfect. All right. Well, yeah, now that cool. now it should be fixed. Uh, you looked good in the recording, at least. So maybe that was awesome. the reason. I don't know. It's not important. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Chambers. Thanks so much for coming. I would love to know all your All Hallows Eve's traditions below. I don't really have one. We're going to be... Alex, get ready for this. We're mm. going to be the full-size candy bar house. I'm very proud of that. Mm. Have we been stockpiling candy for months in preparation? Yes, we have. Do I expect lots of kids? I don't think so. You expect grown-ass men coming, getting three candy bars each? Yes. Uh, you? Yes, yes. I expect you to come by and grab a lot of candy I, bars. You, you should expect me to at least get one of each bar you have. Of course, of course. I have plenty. You yeah. know, I got the I got the Reese. I got the 100 gram bars, which <laughs> my wife very funnily asked, are are they meant for old people? And I went, you know what? 100 grand bars? Yeah. I, I swear to God, if you tell me right now, if you say no to this, do you have crunch bars? You don't have crunch bars, but you have, have weird bars. ass hundred bars. Hold on, whatever. Hold on. Now he has to look achievers. He has to look because I don't know why, but uh, what are they called? The crunch bars. <laughs> they do. Okay, cool. False alarm. <laughs> crunch. False alarm. False alarm. False okay. alarm. Everyone, we have crunch, crunch bars. bars. Don't worry. Crunch bars are like my favorite. Okay, and no, I just no, want to say this bars. man. Okay. The false don't know alarm. why. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know. We got you. We just got the assortment, so you don't get to pick. You just get a, gotcha. an assortment box. You go for it. I, I remembered seeing hundred gram bars, the crunches, of course. Butterfingers is what I'm eyeballing now. The problem with Butterfingers, I love them, but the problem: destroy your teeth, mm-hmm. destroy them, absolutely. Now, there's no efficient, really, way to eat it. You kind of just gnaw on it. And then they all get stuck in your teeth. It's so annoying. Mm-hmm. But usually, when I eat Butterfingers, I have a toothpick in hand. I just use my finger like a barbarian. But yeah, Butterfinger's good. Crunch bars are very good. I do agree with you, Alex. Now, I have M&M's. I have peanut M&M's. Mm-hmm. And I have popcorn. I'm going to be doing the... My wife loves doing that. M&M's in the pop... Oh, I'm going to be watching scary movies. All the kids will be walking up. I, I live at a dead end, so I don't think I'm going to get many people. But the people who mm-hmm. are coming, in for a surprise. Mm-hmm. I suspect next year is going to be a lot busier. Because, you know, word's going to get around. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no, it has full size candy bars, and they're like, "No way!" And they come over. Yeah, I have to keep up with my decorations because the first year we, we were living here, I had all the decorations out, and I had the, the that fake 
uh, webbing on yeah. the bushes, oh, yeah. and I had the, I, love I had like I had like a huge spider on it, and they had like mm-hmm. webbing everywhere, and mm-hmm. people were calling it the spider house, and I, so I was known for that. So now I have to like keep up with my stuff. One of your greatest fears. That's great. You're the spider house. You hate spiders. Famously hate a, spiders. My goal, one day, if I could become good at 3D printing or props yeah my goal is to have an alien house so i get the smoke machine mm. going out towards the yard have the xenomorph eggs all around the yard okay I like a this. couple of, a couple of them are open if somebody walks up to an open one there's gonna be a sling a little slingshot of a fake face hugger just coming out going like this that's pretty good and, and then towards the porch i don't know if i'm gonna use a cutout of it or an actual i don't know i'll probably a cutout but I'm going to have a cutout of a xenomorph hanging kind of like overhead where the candy bar, a candy uh, jar would be. And there would be a face hugger okay, in, a, I, in a bowl. I like, I like the dream here. That sounds yeah. actually really cool. I've never had dreams of a spooky house, really. So I, I can't I can't follow that. Up I, love that I love decorating, so no, no, I have to I yeah. have to do that. Well, I love being like the secondary person to watch the decorating. Because when, when you drive around the house and there's all the spooky stuff up. You're oh, like, for sure. My really wife cool. does that too. She loves the decorations. Yeah, yeah. I love the decorations. Now, I am not one of the people or one of the... Uh, onlookers that love the serious ones. You ever had one of these? The serious? Like, people are like, oh no, I'm making a horror house. I remember yeah. when I was a child. Horror, horror, horror. Did I say horror? Did I say horror? You said, you said horror. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put the extra horror in there. Achievers, I thought I said horror house. There you go. Horror <laughs> house. Now, there was a oh god um it's complete sidetrack now so there was a house when i trick-or-treated when i was a kid and this couple i love this by the way this is just halloween episode. yeah this is an halloween episode now uh, this episode title is going to be the halloween one <laughs> 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 now i was trick-or-treating and these people took it very seriously like very dreary creepy house and mm-hmm. there was a noise kind of it's hard to describe but it was like <sighs> So when you'd walk by, you'd hear that from almost down the block. Yeah. It's very yeah. scary, especially as a child. I was like maybe 10. Mm-hmm. When you'd walk by and go up to it, and I want you to picture this. I want you to picture a person. Kind of look at me, Achievers, right now if you're on YouTube. If you're on podcast service, I'm just kind of sitting in my chair. But there's kind of like a dummy looking guy just doing this. Just covered, sitting sitting covered face. Yeah. And it sounds like the noise is coming from him. Mm-hmm. And you're thinking, oh, this is just a horror house. Animatronic thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And every now and then, I only caught it twice, and it was never on me. But every now and then, he'd get up and just scare the living God out of children. Mm. And I don't think he cleared it with anyone, but one time he definitely scared the God out of small children. <laughs> I watched it happen. It was hilarious. But this this guy just gets up and just screams at these kids, and they go, ah! And they just run violently. One of them was in a pink princess dress. Couldn't have been older than 10, now scarred for life because this old man wanted was to it, scare the hell out of some kids. Was it as bad as, as uh, one other than Snow Mike, Mike being scared in Visage? Yes, if you watch that video, yes, yes, it's just like that. Oh but, my god. But no, that, that was, again, I've only seen it twice, I, I'm curious if he, they still do it, they're an older couple that live together, but... That I guess burned in my memory of the guy sitting Dude, there, get- covered, you don't, you can't tell it's a real person, and every now and then mm-hmm. he gets up and just... I guess Dude, he I just has it. has a way of picking his prey, and he just just scares. Dude, I, God I give out it to people. I give it to people in their fucking uh, decorations. There was one so far. I was um, I was um, out. I see a house, and I look over to the house. It just looks like you know. It's just all there is. All you see is just a light. Uh, the the porch light. You see somebody standing there. You could clearly see it's the Michael Myers yeah. mask, sitting there, and he's just looking at me. Like, look, like literally looking, he's look, just looking at me. And I was like, like, and so I started getting in my car and I see them do this. Oh, I'm like, oh, I was like, time to go. Whoa. Time to go. All right. That's pretty I creepy. Was, dude, now, it looked, it looked on point And I had just watched Halloween, like yeah, literally so a couple hours before. Head. And I was like, nope. My wife wanted to, because we didn't decorate this year. We're going to next year. We just busy. Um, mm-hmm. she wanted to do something simple and we have a sewer grate right outside. She was mm-hmm. going to get a really long balloon string 
and a red balloon mm. and feed it into the sewer grate and then tie mm-hmm. it to the grate and l- and put it back down so it's just kind of hanging out of the it's the, um, sewer grate. the balloons and you know the, how they have those little plastic little medallions at the end to do yeah. hold the weight yeah, yeah yeah throw that down the sewer and then tie it that's what she was to thinking too she was either oh you yeah. open the grate you throw it in there or like you said the, the like weird thing that weighs it down just throw it in there mm-hmm. have a chill yeah. Pretty sc- that's pretty creepy and very simple. I like that. Next to it, have a little uh, a little paper boat. Okay, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I forgot the movie there. for a second. I was like, what are you talking about? But no, yeah, the paper boat was very scary. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, just in case you forgot, we're a, a video game podcast. Just, just in case you're <laughs> forgetting, we are a PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, PC. It doesn't matter. We're a video game podcast. Talk about games every stuff. single week, every Friday. Coming straight to you via podcast service of your choice. Or, of course... <laughs> on youtube this intro is 10 minutes now you might be asking yourself how can i support this perfect show i loved the halloween talk it got me in the halloween mood what can i do to help well i'm so glad you asked you can over subscribe like share with a friend or give us a comment now that helps the algorithm you might be asking yourself why do i care about that don't be a dick all right just like it okay all right okay all right cool now you got some dough, an extra buck you want to throw us. Patreon.com is where you want to go. Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers to be specific. You can give us a dollar, five dollars, uh, whatever you'd like. There's you know multiple that, uh, tiers you could look at. You can DM us exclusively on Patreon to get involved in the show via question, a comment, a certain thought, and our idea. Alex, please. I was going to say, you know that dollar that you have, you go walk into a, a gas station mm-hmm. to get gas, mm-hmm. and then you're like, I'm going to get some treats, and now you're like, should I get this extra item for this extra dollar? Mm. Don't do it. You know Don't what you do? should do? Give it, give it to us. <laughs> give it to us. So we can use it on the gas station dollar so thing can... that we want. Don't tell them our plan. Oh <laughs> I want the, what is it? Uh, what's the gum? I don't know. It's lost. Bubble bubble? Sure. Whatever. I don't know. I, I don't want know the, what you're asking. That, I can't. I was trying to think of what's a dollar in a gas station. And nothing, right? Everything's a dollar oh seven. Oh no, chiclets! Remember those horrible guns? Horrible gums that like disintegrate after you have it for a while. It's disgusting, disgusting. Mm. That's probably the most disgusting thing you ever told me. <laughs> Alex is still eating the moe chips from Pringles. I think he was able to find these Halo things. Yep. <sighs> Anyways, oh, uh, so good. Now you can correct us via a comment or a tweet or over on Patreon.com. Luckily, we were corrected last week on something I made a mistake on, and I'm very embarrassed. Now, Rondris, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Wretched. via YouTube comments, corrected me saying, I did say Knockout City was from Ubisoft. Now, I incorrectly said that, of course. It is from EA. I can't believe I said that. It was a slip, I believe. Um, of course. Look, no, we were just talking on Ubisoft so much. We were just trying to think of stuff. I was stuff. just talking shit, yeah, probably. So, I did I appreciate it. misspeak, but I very much appreciate that, Rondris. Keeping me honest. Thank you so much. How to be. Now, we do have some rapid fires. We do have some rumor roundups today. We're going to be very quick oh. through some of these because, honestly, some of them are very interesting. <laughs> but we have a very weird one. This is via Jeff Grubb. This is also via the internets and the webs. So, apparently, there's a Warner Brothers platform fighter called the Multiverses coming. Um, this is via Jeff Grubb. Apparently, it is a free-to-play title. Uh, you're going to get a set of people in the game. Excuse me. Uh, and you apparently have to buy anyone else. So the first DLC fighter is apparently LeBron James. It, it sounds like I'm making this up, but the, I've Jeff Grubb, pretty good source. I believe that he's heard these, but no, yeah, yeah, for sure. They also released the <laughs> achievers. I'm gonna try to get this on the screen for you, but this is wild. Uh, they released the supposed what do you call it uh oh they took it down no what oh was no it the list? see so they had a picture of the character select screen so i'm just gonna oh, name oh them all i remember they seeing took, that yeah i should have saved it i apologize achievers i'll do better about that i'll do better about that i should i should have figured i didn't think they'd actually make them delete it but they did now and by the way that tells us this is now for real real because they wouldn't care if a fake thing was out there. So this is real mm-hmm. now. Now we know this for sure. They don't report copyright unless it's real. Now, collect character select screen goes as this. Steven Universe, Adventure Time, Batman and Harley Quinn, 
Superman and Wonder Woman, Gandalf, Rick and Morty, Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, and a new character we do not know who it is. So apparently there's a new character introduced into this game. Look, it kind of looked like a bunny. It's very weird it. looking. You do I have, have the picture. Thank you. Yes. It, yes. Yeah. So the free, yeah, Steven Universe, Adventure Time, Batman, Harley Quinn, Superman, Wonder Woman, Gandalf, Frick, Tom and Jerry, Rick and Morty, Bugs Bunny, and the one on the top left yeah, is like called a, New New Char. Yeah, new character. Yeah. Oh, oh new char. New character. No, yeah, it's it's like a little it's it's like, it gr- like it's like a green little monster with antlers. Yeah, it looks weird. Now mm-hmm. maybe that is a, a something to achieve or tell me if that's something. I don't think that is. It looks it look, it's called new char. If it is, tell us, but I'm assuming that's a new character. I'm assuming maybe a new character. Maybe yeah, a placeholder right. or something. I don't know. I just saw new char but, and I was like, that sounds dumb. <laughs> it sounds very dumb. Uh Alex. <laughs> hmm. So what? This is very weird. And also, I'm going to add, uh, Alex, did you not see, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Scooby-Doo, the guy. Shaggy? That, did you not see Shaggy in that? Okay, I was just asking. Yeah. I saw Shaggy in one of them, but he could have been a joke. It kind of looked fake, but I couldn't tell. Oh, no, it, yeah, it is on here. Oh, okay, he is on there. Yeah. Okay. Why, why, why isn't he on the list? I don't know either. Um, yeah, I see Shaggy on the top, yeah, top right corner. Yeah, and... That's hilarious because they had the meme that Shaggy was like omnipotent, like a god or something like two years mm-hmm. ago, I think it was, uh, when they did that episode of him beating everyone up when he took a pill or something. So that is I'm assuming that's why they put him in this game, but that's going to be very funny. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a knockoff Smash game. Cool. I feel like I feel like this this came out because the Nickelodeon one came out and the people who have this are, are were like, we didn't know if this was a good idea. We saw the Nickelodeon one and thank God that came out first. So now we could just throw ours out <laughs> yeah probably i can't imagine this is going to be popular i mean it's not co- it's not a co- i mean it has to be a coincidence uh, right v- via I mean, uh jeff yeah it's probably a coincidence. uh via jeff grubb um his actual source said it looks cheap like that's an exact quote it looks cheap i mean no i mean it's free to play so it yeah. depends that's true that's true um these are a couple uh um, again quick fire stuff um there's a video that shows a glimpse of facebook's oculus pro um, there's going to be a Facebook Connect event showcasing that might show it there, but that's a very quick one. We don't really care about Oculus here, but if there is an achiever out there that does, there you go. Might be getting a pro soon. Halo 3's original servers are being shut down as long as the rest of the series on Xbox 360. We did cover this, um, I believe, in December 2022 when they were originally going to do this. They are now confirming, yes, January 13, 2022, we are cutting servers off on 360 unfortunate but we have the master chief collection now so not that big of a deal but sorry if yeah. you're still playing on 360 they at least gave us a almost two year heads up well yeah which is good i mean years. that's a that's, i'm surprised they gave us that much of a heads up yeah i mean that's how you're supposed to do it yeah playstation mm-hmm. playstation yeah, remember, remember that oh vita? yeah vita stores will PS3? close in like six months so it was in less than that it was like three months i think i don't and they, remember and they shut down the psp one immediately like bro Give us a heads mm-hmm. up. Give us a year heads up. So many, I feel like that's fair. And so many people got mad that they reopened the Vita, but then they said they're not going to update it or something like anymore. I forgot what the... You can't what add what a payment was. method anymore on that's the Vita. What it was. So you have to I, add money to your account, then go on the Vita, then buy mm-hmm. something. What, they're clearly making it as hard as possible, so you stop buying things. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's obvious. It's obvious. Uh, this is another rumor roundup, but it just seems pretty definitive. First off, Jeff Grubb out there just slinging rumors back and back and back from his inside sources. Love it. I love a chatty Kathy, and Jeff Grubb's chatty Kathy. I love him. So, Alex, you remember the Banner Saga? Yes. The Trilogy of Games Achievers, if you don't know what the Banner Saga is, a fantastic three-set RPG kind of tactical role-playing game that you played as these characters trying to... F- fix their kind of broken world due to a mysterious circumstances now this is a fantastic game and there's rumors that there's a project um in the works at stoic studio which is making which sorry made banner saga it's called project belfry cannot wait for this this is again rumors but i trust the source like we've said 70 times jeff grubb usually doesn't talk off his ass um and if he is he usually prefaces it Uh, but that is a code name for it code name belfry and it is going to be coming from Stoic Studios. Very, very interested in this. Because I loved that trilogy. Loved it so much. Play yeah, it from I start you, to finish. Yep, I remember you playing that start to finish. God, I love it. I miss it. I miss it so much. Now, 
I'm going to save those for last because I want to get into the news. We had a PlayStation State of Play Achievers. It was not good. I'm sorry to say. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good, though. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't fun. Now, let's start with what was shown. A TV show themed Battle Royale, which uh, seemed very anime inspired with both its fighting and skills, is coming spring 2022 in the name of Death First. It has a. It has something following that that I forgot to write down. Let it die. Death First, Let it die, I believe is, is what it's called. Um, boy, was it really trying to sell that it was a TV show. Uh, and my God, did it really want to show, hey, we're anime. We're like super anime, though. So, like, mm-hmm. you might mm-hmm. like this game. And I was. I was watching. I'm like, okay, this look, looks kind of cool, but again, do I really want this? It doesn't. It it, it doesn't. It looks kind of messy in a weird way, you know. Kind of has that mm-hmm. kind of gray overtone over everything. I did like the character that like shot in the air and then like mm-hmm. hit him a bunch of times. That looked cool, but aside from that, not very interested. Alex, Mm-mm. you could stop uh, yeah. me. How about this? You can stop me if you want to interject in any of this because I know this was not your favorite state of play. That will and mm-hmm. we'll we'll touch on that at the end. Yep. We are OFK showed up again. Um, they did a kind of weird meta joke thing about that, the VO yeah. actor that lasted way too long. Um, it looks like it's a kind of texture adventure game where you are playing a band. It's coming P- to PS4, PS5, 2022. I was very much like, okay, this it does it's yeah. not. I don't I don't know. It I love games like that, but this this didn't land for me. And the I'm only just, thing that interested me that they mentioned, like, oh, it's like, oh, the state of play. That's the only thing I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, and got, the rest yeah. of it was whatever. Yeah, I got super meta. Um, there's an update to Bug Snacks coming. Uh, snacks have hats now. They really wanted to drive that home that they have hats. Uh, it's kind of cute. Giant ones. Um, there's apparently a home decorator option now that looks straight out of uh, Animal Crossing. Um, it's called Isle of Big Snacks. So there's, I guess, big snacks that you have to make small. I don't know. It's like gra- it's sort of like grounded, but you know they're they're snacks. But the opposite. Free update is coming early 2022. So this is a free update. So if you own the game, you don't have to pay anything additional for this. Um, FNAF Security Breach was shown. Looks terrifying as always. Comes December 16th, 2021. That's the that's the one I was talking about. I watched gameplay for man. That thing is terrifying. It looks pretty scary. It looks pretty scary. I, I have not played the FNAF game, so I probably won't play yeah, this yeah, one. But yeah. looks looks good for people who like FNAF. Yeah. Uh, Death Store is finally making its way to PlayStation 4 and 5, November 23rd. If you pre-order the game, you get Titan Souls for free. Now, this is the beloved game from the Achievers themselves. We played this very recently, and my God, I loved that game. One of my favorite Mm -hmm. indies probably in a very long time. Loved how it felt. That that was one of my early games on the Vita, and I played the heck out of it. Uh, What are you talking about Titan Souls now, right? Yes, t- sorry, Titan Souls. Yeah, yeah. You're good. yeah, I love Titan Souls, but uh, Death Door is really where it's at. I did not fully mm-hmm. play Titan Souls. I played a little bit of it, but Death Door I love so much. Yeah. I cannot recommend this. If you have PS4, you have PS5. Even if you have an Xbox, pick it up. Yep. Um, couldn't care less about this game. It's a cart game coming. It's called Cart Rider Drift. That was, that was it. King, King of Fighters 14 is getting an update uh, for online. 15. 15. Sure. Uh, for first Class Trouble is a game coming. Coming yep. over, uh, November 12th to PS4, PS5. November 2nd, it's going to be a PS Plus download, which is very cool. So, mm-hmm. the rumors were true. That was actually rumored. Of course, I was going to cover that rumor roundup, but it's confirmed, of course, to the state of play. From now, so. Yeah, so it, it looked whatever. I was very yeah. like, okay, this looks kind of... I might try this, but eh. yeah. Uh, it's on PlayStation Plus, though, so it's kind of like a... Okay, I'll download it and I might give it a try. I mean, what's the harm? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then Star Ocean Divine Force was shown coming 2022. As soon as I saw this, I immediately knew what it was. Um, yep. Star Ocean, I loved, uh, I say loved, I played the Star Ocean games when I was a kid. Um, it was like, I was mm. in love with JRPG, so I picked up any JRPG I, first I could I thought it was play. another Fantasy Star, and I was like, no, this is not techy enough. F- fantasy Star and Star Ocean have a very, very, very similar look. Very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, the only reason I knew a Star Ocean is because uh, literally the so I knew it from kind of like the feeling and the ca- outfits, mm-hmm. um, especially when I saw the lady in the yellow. I was like, "That's a yeah. Star Ocean outfit, a million percent." And then I saw the font, which I know mm-hmm. is a weird thing to say, but as soon as I saw the font, oh, for sure. yeah, yeah. I immediately was like, "Okay, this is a Star Ocean game." Weird that we're getting a Star Ocean game, but sure, mm-hmm. hopefully it's good because uh, the Star Ocean games are kind of like whatever. I don't think mm-hmm. there's a really great one, but they're good games when you. Like are like twelve and don't have anything else to play. Yeah, Little Devil Inside trailer. 
no date. PS4, PS5 coming sometime. I don't know what this game is, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I couldn't really tell what I do or what I'm supposed to do in the game. The overworld looked kind of cool with the train thing. I, uh, but I don't know. didn't really tell me much about what I'm supposed to be doing in the game. Let's just say like five minutes in the thing, I had to pause it. I came back. It was done. And I just skimmed through the whole thing and didn't even pause it. Mm-hmm. But like, well, I, I didn't even like, stop. I just skimmed. Spe- speaking of which, we're at the end of the state of play. Um, yeah. I think it's clear that both me and you are pretty down on it. It's not, yeah, it's not the worst one I've ever seen. It wasn't. I, mean, a, I knew it was going to be about third party, but damn. they did. Sh- they prefaced uh, again. I think that's important. They prefaced all of this with saying this is a third party thing. Don't mm-hmm. ex- basically. It did read as like, don't expect cool shit. <laughs> like it did kind of feel that way. Like that's how I read it. Mm-hmm. I read it in between the lines like. I am, don't expect anything good because they really wanted to temper everyone's expectations. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not great. It's you know, relax. We were mm-hmm. paid a lot of money to show these games. Yep. So it's not God of War. It's not uh, relax. Yeah. No. No Horizon. Nothing like that. So again, uh, I'm I am higher on it because they told us it was not going to be crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean, like at yeah. least they so, did yeah, not ex- pretend like ex- it was going to be crazy. An example yeah. of that. Xbox's showcase in Gamescom called the gameplay thing. That was awful because you didn't actually mm-hmm. see any gameplay in a gameplay showcase. So that's an, yep. an example of not tempering expectations. Yeah. And this one did very well. I don't. I that was indifferent of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I'm done with uh, the state of play, Alex. Any lasting thoughts? No. I mean, I was fine. It was. It was from what I expected when I heard third party uh, state of play. I'm like probably nothing i don't care about like i don't really don't mind any of these games so very quickly alex hmm. i know i was gonna say i was gonna leave but i'm very curious what your thoughts on this does playstation need this should they keep doing state of plays i feel like not as often because now i feel like they're just constant now i feel like when they I do feel a like state of too play many now yeah, yeah i agree like the my problem is the um uh I'm sorry, I'm having a blank. The quality is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's whatever. Sometimes it's in the middle and it's fine because it's like a couple of fun updates. Mm-hmm. Um, but it definitely looks like they looked at Nintendo Direct and were like, we should have something like that. So let's just do that. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it just kind of seems that's what they did. They looked at Nintendo Direct and went, let's do that. They have the exact same setup. The transitions mm. from the slides, the weird VO lady talking over the game, or sorry. I didn't even have that this time. Literally, it was just uh, a blue screen with the, 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 the logos, and you didn't even get that this that's time. That's true. That's true. It's a that, little that's weird. How, that's how third party this was. <laughs> that's how third party this was. But yeah, I, I think they should still do them, but they really have to take a jeweler's eye, which I love seeing people put on. Just take a jeweler's eye to this whole thing and be like, how can we really fine tune these things to where all of them are at least semi important? Because you could escape to this entire thing and not have lost anything, in my opinion. Maybe you could. Maybe. Well, hmm. How many do we get? Do we have like? Do it's you think question. we get more? Do you think so far this year have we gotten more than one each quarter? So in one quarter, have we gotten two? Because I feel like we should uh, limit to at least. I think we're two. one quarter. One a quarter. I don't remember. Be honest. With you. I just feel like it's, it feels more than that because we just had one in September, did we not? Did we? I don't remember. I'm asking. I have, I do not remember. I believe we did. Uh, I'm trying to find. It's a weird search. Like how many PlayStation State of Plays there have been. No one seems to have like a compendium of how many there have been. Yeah. Just oh, this one was announced, you know X Y Z. Let's see, not important. Hey, Alex, if you want to look for that, um, I can okay. head over to the next story and we'll talk about that. But I I agree, they really need to find two thieves into making each one at least able to for me to say you need to watch this to a friend, and maybe skip to a specific trailer or something. But. If you keep doing these, it becomes what State of Directs were, which no one cared about. 
A very interesting story comes from yet again Jeff Grubb and Jay Jez Gordon, the two that increasingly are being spoken on the show week after week. Jez Gordon on the Xbox Two podcast, which is a hilarious name, has and which was a later then confirmed by Jeff as well. A Finland-based studio called Mainframe is on a cloud-based MMO for Xbox. Now the cloud here is specifically in reference to being able to play on multiple devices, whether it be your PC, phone actual game console. Even more interestingly, though, and Jeff later gives an example about, it will scale with complexity depending on the platform you may be playing on. He notes later in this article, maybe you can maybe raid on a system or PC while you're playing on, and then later pick up your phone to maybe farm or craft some materials or do something very specific like maybe uh, cook a meal or something like that, something standard that you can very simply kind of tap and click throughout the game. The work style is currently known as Pax Die, and the higher-ups are showing very optimism in the, the um, Xbox higher-ups, that is. They're showing optimism for the time. Not only has this rep- uh, being reported that Kim Swift is just the recent hire who is overseeing cloud gamings, she's working with Hideo Kojima, which if you guys remember, we reported on earlier the, uh, in the year that there is a letter of content with both Hideo Kojima and Xbox. To work on a specific title, and it currently seems to be this one. They're also hoping this title will provide a sort of framework for future titles, known as quote a playbook that will maybe spin off into other titles later on, or give them a framework of something to build other games on. Alex, mm. mainframe making a cloud MMO for Xbox. That's interesting. Very interesting. Right now, we don't. And we never really have had a giant kind of MMO-based console experience, let alone from Xbox, but let alone really from anyone. The only few I can really think of that are hardcore MMOs, of course, maybe DC Universe Online. That's maybe an example. Um, But we very rarely see these giant MMOs on there. Now, it's unclear if it's a MMO light, which is what I usually call um, the MMOs on consoles. We can bring up Destiny as an example. Or a more heavy-duty game like a WoW or a New World to be a little more recent. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know. I do think it's a very good idea with this kind of mixture in the cloud. Hey, take your phone out when you're, on a, uh, when you're maybe on a walk or on a bus ride. You can grind out some materials, maybe do some crafting on the side. That sounds very interesting. Is this something that you feel like is missing from the ecosystem and is this something you want? No, I don't feel like I would want a cloud system because I don't feel like it's just going to run that well because like, mm. how many dedicated servers are you going to need for that? That's a good point. Like, are, are they going to really put the backbone that they need for this? I think it's a very mm. good point. Now, they might be able to scale it to a point where... Because I mean, how good internet are you going to... I mean, how good internet... Are you going to be able to use your regular LTE internet with this cloud-based game? Like, sure. That's true. They, now, they might make it to where it's a simple kind of point and click. Maybe you're in your mm-hmm. home. Maybe there's some sort of home feature, like a base feature. And you can't leave your house, but you can like walk around and maybe work mm-hmm. on a workbench or something. But usually when I hear when something wants to do go cloud-based, I would mm-hmm. think they want to take it on the go. Mm-hmm. Of course. And if, it's like, and if, like, if they don't specify, it's like, hey, you don't need this much internet. And if they don't emphasize that at all, then I feel like that's usually troubling. Mm, mm, mm. Now, this is still in early talks, of course, but I kind of understand where you're coming from. Like, if this turns into a real game, which I, I believe it will, mm. will this be something that is reasonably on my phone that I can mess around with? Now, mm. I don't have good luck with most of the cloud-based things xbox is doing right now i bring yeah. up any game on the service i have tried multiple times and i just can't have a working experience in my own home let alone walking around outside with a yeah. like alex said an lte signal now that could be where i live that could be just my internet speeds over wi-fi or to you know a number of factors could be influencing this my state could not have the proper bandwidth blah 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 Mm-hmm. But speak, speaking to to this part specifically, yeah, I I am trepidatious on the whole cloud-based MMO period, but 
I would like to, I want to be optimistic that it may work out. And I do think it is advantageous to have an MMO on your console, especially if it's an exclusive, especially if you can nail it. Mm -hmm, For sure. Because that's something that neither of the big three have ever done. Nintendo, of course, PlayStation. They've never really had an MMO unless you call PlayStation Home. Get that? Get it? But and and they've never had an MMO that's exploded and been a thing, and especially not an exclusive. Uh, yeah, no, it's not exclusive because I was gonna say Genshin Impact. I've I've heard is like really popular, but I don't. That is exclusive to PlayStation. Um, and it's not on anything else. It's on on mobile. Well, I sorry, console exclusive. I should sorry. I should preface. It is, that is only on PlayStation on, on console form. But yeah, that is kind of cheating because, you know, you can't be on mobile. I believe it's on PC as well, right? I think so. I'm not a big Genshin Impact guy, so I have no idea. I know there's... Yeah, it's a, I believe it's on PC, PlayStation, and I believe mobile. Pretty sure. Yep. I, I know it's got the pretty anime ladies. That's about it. <laughs> uh, but Alex, Hideo Kojima. Do mm. you think... I mean... Seems that he's working on this. That makes me honestly more excited about anything than this. This could be. I'm, interest- I'm just interested in out of and everybody. Like, why is he making an MMO? Like, and of reportedly what? Reportedly, could be helping. Or with like, it? I'm just. I'm what. <laughs> I'm. It's it's weird because my mind every time like when I think of MMO and I think of Kojima for some reason Death Stranding's a uh, social thing comes up in my head right. where like you know things you can like Got and things likes, you can yeah. everything everything everything's connected mm-hmm. like i for the some strand. reason that goes, everything goes Stupid back game. everything <laughs> goes back to my head to that and i'm like is he trying to make something similar to that like i wonder yeah i mean and hideo is just like messing with people so i wouldn't be Man, surprised he- if that comes into effect let's not forget the um lead up to <laughs> death stranding where like people were like when can we play the game and he's like you're playing it right now it's like oh, and everyone's like oh my god is he mean something super deep and then you play the game you're like oh no he's just being hideo kojima yeah he's, being, he's just messing with people but yeah. yeah i honestly that's the most interesting part do will we see a first off a fruition to the letter of content meaning that hey the hideo is going to see this thing through is he going to leave to go back to playstation are they going to be able to scoop him up? I highly doubt that, but that's not impossible. It's not impossible for Xbox to, to, to kind of wave the check and be like, it's pretty cool over here, Hideo. And we'll let you do whatever you want. Those guys, apparently they didn't want you to make Death Stranding 2, which rumored. That's a rumor. Mm-hmm. Apparently they are now, but... I was about to say, Death Stranding can go to Xbox. That won't happen. They don't have that. No, he I doesn't know. own it. I know. But that would be hilarious, but it won't, it won't happen. Um, but yeah, that that's my thoughts on it. I can't, can't wait to see if that actually pans out, and if Hideo will actually have his name on this. He's gonna go to Xbox and make a game that's like the opposite of Death Stranding. It's, it's gonna like it's like Life Freedom or Life something. Life Unconnected or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> or it could connected because Stranding is like you know not it's 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 not. I connected, thought the isn't Strand it? Network was connected, or well, yeah, because the Strand the Network stranding. was the act of oh okay things, right. I, I'm thinking uh, that's stranding. I'm thinking like you know you're stranded. Oh yeah, something. yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah, the actual so, name yeah. of stranded. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but it seemed like that. I, I guess he meant. We're, uh, whatever. Whatever. Assassin's yeah. Creed Infinite apparently will not be free to play. It always seems to have a confirmation that the next Assassin's Creed will not be a freely pay game. How do we know this? Well, of course, there was an earnings call with Yves Guillemot, the CEO Yves. of Ubisoft being asked that very question and this is a direct quote quote it's not going to be free to play and this game will have a lot of narrative elements in it (laughs) okay what (laughs) okay it's such a weird quote but that is what he said in response to that question now he does go on to say quote it's going to be a very innovative game but it will have what players already have in all the assassin's creed games all the elements that they love to get in them right from the start it's going to be a huge game, but with lots of elements that already existed in the games that we published in the past. Who's <laughs> believing that the next Assassin's Creed is free to play, first off? Well, we covered this, Alex. Um, Assassin's Creed Infinite was apparently going to be a free to play game that kind of melded a bunch of Assassin's Creed into one, and you're able to. Um, this was a report. 
I remember seems, now. Yes, this seems to have been misproven. You were skeptical on that episode that this was actually a real thing. Uh, I do believe maybe at one point it was probably going to be free to play, and they were probably like, yeah. "We should probably not do that because we have seventy other free to play games that aren't working." Um, Hyperscape, <laughs> as an example. Mm-hmm. Hyperscape is Ubisoft, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I think so. I'm pretty sure. You're, you're like, oh god, corrections again. What is his name? Uh, Randers is going to come after me again. Ubisoft, is Ubisoft chief financial officer Frederick Dugit. Also said, infinite quote is still at an early stage of development. End quote. We won't see that game for like another two years. <sighs> Assassin's Creed Infinite could be anything. If it was as we described, it's a bench, a, a, some sort of amalgamation of a bunch of games of the uh, Assassin's all these, Creed. Universe. All these new games are going to be called honestly, Infinite now. Yeah, and honestly, Yves Gilmont sounds like he just put a bunch of words into a, a blender and started blending it because none of that made any sense to me. It mm. has elements that aren't in any of them, but in all of them. Like, what are you talking about? Anyways, I am not very. I don't. I don't know what a free to play assassins looks like, and that sounds honestly terrible. So I'm glad they're not doing that. Just let me pay for the game. Let me play. It. All right. I, I. I. You guys haven't really nailed a free to play game yet at all. So just please stop. That Splinter Cell yes. game is going to be your free-to-play game, I bet. Oh, my God. The Molasses Flood is apparently joining CD Projekt Red. Now, this is a surprising move to at least me. I did not see this coming. Molasses Flood is a U.S.-based team filled with some industry vets from anywhere between Bioshock Infinite to Halo. And are now becoming a part of CG Project Red. Now they will be remaining independent and will not be broken up into CG Project Red. They're going to be an independent studio inside of CG Project Red. Um, and if you might be asking yourself, who is the Molasses Flood? Well, they have made The Flame and the Flood, which released in 2016. I remember that game. I remember that game. I remember yeah. that game as well. I did not play it, but I remember that cover art for some reason in my head. The map mm-hmm. kind of looking. Yeah, there's the fire in the middle. Like, mm-hmm. uh, this is a quote directly from CG Projects Red Public Release. We're always on the lookout for teams who make games with heart, says Adam. Kinski? Kinski? Oh, Jesus. President and joint CEO of CG Project. The Molasses Flood share our passion for video game development. They're experienced, quality-oriented, and have great technological insight. I'm convinced they will bring a lot of talent and determination to the group. End quote. This is a... I have nothing to say on this story. It's just I wanted to bring up CG Project was able to grab a studio that was not only US, US-based, US which, of course, CG, uh, CD is in um, Poland, right? The Polish studio. I what do you know. think? Of I, this? Think... I know you probably don't care, and I, I don't do either. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what their motive is because I mean, they fucked up Cyberpunk already. <laughs> so, like... Are you saying like why did they buy them? Yes, Poland. I was correct. Yeah. So like, what's the what are they trying to do? Are they trying to do the, the like this whole anthem thing? Like you know, oh, it didn't go the way, so we're just gonna push that away well, think, and start will... something new. I think it's clear that not only are they gonna try and get a new team to help with the next game, or help with some sort of secondary thing that they need off their plate so they can focus on the next game because they're working on witcher 4 we know that or they're gonna be like here you 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 team fix cyberpunk while we go make this new game we want to do and fuck up i don't know I, <laughs> and fuck up it's really funny <laughs> but i don't i don't think i don't know i don't think so i i i think cd is going to it has a first I, off I, the, there's a small team working on cyberpunk i think that game's game. dead by the way What's your definition of dead? Is it gonna like, be content? An, like 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 Anthem dead. Like you remember no, how Anthem, it... you remember how Anthem said that we were supposed to get a whole new like like uh upgrade update system like yeah, where you that know got the was better. Yeah, we got canceled and we never saw anything. I think and we can get, Cyberpunk's update keeps getting delayed. And it, that's true. I don't think it's gonna, that's, I don't think no, it's gonna that's, happen. That's true. That would almost be hilarious for us never to get the actual update. Right now. But I, I want to say that I think first off, they just need to shut up and just go do stuff. They like they have to stay away. Yeah. I want to point to No Man's Sky situation. What did they do? Oh, they yeah. they destroyed the, they destroyed themselves both reputational wise. Yep. And, and it was kind of partly the game industry's fault. Oh yeah. Let's not talk about that. Yeah. That's a separate thing for it went away. Time. 
they went away, they fixed the game, and they came back. Came it back. was almost three years or something like that. Mm-hmm. Something like that. It was a while. I they left for a very shit, long dude. time. Yeah. And I stuck by the first three years, man. I kept playing every once in a while, and mm. I was like, okay, you know, I, I could see, you know, they're, they're working on something. Man. And then they came out with the update, man. Oh, uh, and and look at them now. Yeah. Huge now game on all consoles. Yeah. You can play everywhere. It's got some crazy updates with underwater stuff. I don't uh, even it's know. just so, so crazy, so much dude. Stuff. There's so much stuff that you can go through in that game. There's like trading I got so and mad. stuff. I got so mad because I wanted the. You can get. You could have gotten the Normandy on there, and I yeah. didn't get a chance to get it. I, I didn't either. Mad. I did. I realized what you had to do, and I was like, Nah, <laughs> I'm not yeah. doing that. It's too much stuff. But yeah. very cool. Very uh, cool for No Man's Sky now. Will with <laughs> with our example we brought up with, with No Man's Sky. I think I really do think they just have to go away for a while. They have to fix Cyberpunk. They have to release the next-gen version, which for, should have been the only version, by the way. There should have never been a, a last-gen version. This game could not handle the last-gen stuff. I don't understand and, why they even tried. Yeah, and just make some content. Try to make a... I don't know. Eat, eat the it's cost crazy, and make like a get I like well the story. version of the game. Like I enjoyed the story and I enjoyed the game. Oh, you played the game like, when it launched. So you, And you said you, I I, mean, you, you I liked it. it. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the game, yeah. but it's just like I pushed through some of the stuff. Oh, you definitely did. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. We will see. Hopefully Witcher 4 doesn't suck. That would be really sad. I'm just surprised they're even trying to work on the next-gen Witcher 3. Like that, that, that tells me that we're not getting Witcher 4 for a while. That is very weird, too. I do agree. Now... I want to see how extensive the upgrades are. Like, how crazy are these upgrades? Is it just it's like, like it's like the 4K, it's like the GTA like Five to GTA Six situation? We're just gonna keep getting that same game over and over <laughs> again until they run out of consoles, and then maybe we'll announce GTA Six. Speaking of GTA Six, Alex, thank you for that beautiful segue. Snoop Dogg has loose lips. It seems he is. Let it slip that Dr. Dre apparently is working on some music for the next Grand Theft Auto. Now, we have no idea what Grand Theft Auto is talking about. Is he talking about the trilogy? Are they releasing maybe new songs for that trilogy specifically into the radio stations? Or the much more fun version, GTA 6. Is he currently making some sort of music for the soundtrack or a radio station in Grand Theft Auto 6? Great theory. I wouldn't I see it past them to put his music in the remasters. That'd be interesting. I, would, I, w- I honestly don't. I wouldn't be shocked if that was the actual yeah, answer to this. Yeah, exactly. Now, the mu- much more fun th- way to do this is when are we getting Grand Theft Auto 6? And I really honestly want to talk. This was honestly an excuse to be like, I really want to see what Alex thinks. We're going to get our Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, very quickly, I do think the Dr. Dr. It. I do think the Dr. Dre music is probably in Grand Theft Auto 6. I do yeah. not think it is oh, well, in the probably. next trilogy, but. I wouldn't be shocked if that's actual, actually the case. Now, Alex, the question I have mm. for you is, what do we get Grand Theft Auto 6? Do we get it this gen? Now, are you saying get it or actually see it like they announce it? I, when can I put Grand Theft Auto 6 into my system and play it? The earliest at the end of this console era. I'm going to say... Which is six years from now. I'm going to say... Because normally this console generations are like seven to ten years. It depends. 2026. So five years. Yes. Around this time, too. So it's going to be probably... We'll, it'll, it'll probably it'll, be like November 16th-ish. We'll, ha- we'll have it in our hands playing it in five years. Yes. I believe they started development probably... They probably started development on as soon as they got the dev kits for this gen. Eh, they probably no, they probably started before that and started working with PCs with around I mean, the specs that they I would mean, expect. Just, I mean, have you seen how long it took from Red Dead One to Red Dead Two to to, to, to to release? Right, but how long did it take from Red Dead? Or sorry, how long did it take from Grand Theft Auto Four to Red Dead One? Wait, what? So Maybe Grand Theft Auto Red Four, Dead, Grand Theft Auto Five. Right, but. That comparing Red Dead One to Red Dead Two is, I think, apples and oranges versus comparing to recent releases. 
in the way of Red Dead 1 to Grand Theft Auto 5, from Grand Theft Auto 5 to Red Dead 2. Oh, okay. You see this time frame? It's yeah, not like they you. stopped making a game and then went to Red Dead 2. They made one, then they went to Grand Theft Auto 5, then they made to Red Dead 2. Red Dead, Red Dead 1 was way better uh, online service than Red Dead 2 is. And at least I don't know. I just, I don't know if people like Red Dead 2's online service. So I, I don't know if it's I making enough to keep up with it. And it because if it would if it would have kept going, they would probably would have been like, oh, we'll just keep getting money from this and GTA Online. Um, I'm trying to think. I think, I think we'll definitely have seen it by 2025, but I feel like it's gonna get delayed. No, no, it's definitely this game. Whenever I don't, whatever date they tell you, it's a lie. I'm gonna, lie say, I'm gonna say we will not have it by 2025. Uh, 2020. Uh, what was it? 2026? Is that what you said? I said. Tw- Yes, 2026. I said it would be in our systems. Uh, sorry, I was allergic to bullshit. <laughs> you uh, fucking nailed me. Do you really? Uh, God. When do you, when, do you, when do you think? Uh, dude, I don't know. I because um, oh, you don't seem very fucking confident. I don't. I don't know because I don't know what the strategy is. So when okay when did GTA five original GTA five come out on the th- three sixty what year was that Trying was that twenty twenty on three sixty should have been twenty thirteen it might have been yeah. twenty twelve let's see GTA five release date Xbox three sixty because you know three sixty was best September 20, uh, 2013. twenty thirteen so I was right okay. twenty thirteen so the next game was what Red Dead two correct no. Uh, the next game, yes, the, yes, yeah. I see what you're I'm saying. Not, I'm not yes. doing the re release bullshit. No, 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 I see what you're saying. What you're saying. Uh, so Red Dead 2 was, let me see, 2018? I wanted to say 17. 18, no, you're right, 2018. Yeah, 2018. That's so, so five years. Five years. So five years from 2018 is 2023. 2023. No, no, no. Okay, I'll, I'll take your 2026. I wouldn't be shocked if we get it like 2025 if they're really on on it, but no. Red they, Dead make Dead so, they make so much money, Achievers. I know this sounds weird. Like, bro, no way. It won't be that long. Do you know how much money they're making from Grand Theft Auto V? They don't have a reason to make another one. That's what I'm telling you. That's why they I don't They're making an amount of money they're making. Take your Dude, time. Like, there's no reason I, to, 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 I to don't. Rest. I don't see them making another one because then that would take away from the gta online unless they have gta 6 gta online like what they do with all the call of duties warzone is like all connected unless the gta online for six is connected to the to the other one which i don't think it's gonna happen but that's the only way i feel like they they would release it earlier just for frame of reference achievers grand theft auto 5 has sold over 140 million copies that's like the second best game of all time. That's ridiculous. Like next to fucking Tetris. By the way, Tetris has released on 77 different consoles. So that's the, it's not even the same thing. They've only, Grand Theft only come out twice. It's about to be the third time. It's stupid. It really it's so much money, man. Has it really only been twice? Oh, so it's 360, 360 and then... to Xbox One. And now it's going to be released again. On for this PS5 series and Series X, X. Yeah. so a total of three in a couple months. That is ridiculous. And they've made they've sold a hundred and f- that's more than like all of the Uncharted's combined. You know it's By crazy. A lot. <laughs> you know it's it's crazy. I looked up online the 360 version. I think that's what it's telling me right here. It's still forty dollars. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? But uh, usually but the, the Xbox pretty- One version is thirty though. Yeah, so I'm saying I'm just surprised that the last gen version is more expensive. It's probably harder to find. So Maybe. I mean, they don't. I mean, they're definitely not making those anymore. They still make the Grand Theft Auto ones for Xbox. They're still in like production. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure because they have those premium edition things with yep. the shark cards, and shark stuff. cards, all that stuff. Yeah, the starter pack, whatever it's called. But yeah, yeah they've yeah. made a stupid amount of money. By the way, those are just copies, not included microtransactions. <laughs> yeah. So they have a whole other asset we don't know how much they've made money on. And Ooh. GTA Online, GTA or GTA Five w- was on Game Pass at one point too, and it was on PS Now. 
Yeah. So they made more money off of those deals. It's just stupid. It's just, we're talking about it's, a stupid amount of money for these things. We're talking about oh, well over a billion dollars. Well over a billion. We're well into the two billion, probably, for how much money this thing's made. It's fucking stupid. Apparently, Alex, there might be a Wu-Tang Clan being made. I bet no one had this on their 2021 bingo card that there's going to be a rumored Wu-Tang Clan RPG in the works at none other than the Brass Lion Entertainment. Now, this may sound like some weird game of telephone went awry, but according to both, yet again, Jeff Grubb and Jez, uh, Jez Gordon, they have heard this is coming. Now, it's unclear if this is an actual group of Wu-Tang Clan members, of course, the incredible group pop artists, but or <clears throat> is this the martial arts style? <laughs> is it just like the martial arts of Wu-Tang, or is it, of course, the band? Not really a band, but anyways. Also, it seems to be a four-player co-op game, and the Wu-Tang Clan will at least be making the soundtrack, leading credence that it may be Wu-Tang Clan related. I know, I know you don't know much too much about the Wu-Tang Clan, Alex, yeah. but this is if this is real, fucking wild. <laughs> this is wild if this is real. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if this is not the actual Wu-Tang members in a video game. It's I would assume... The Wu Tang fighting style, in some way, is in the works in the game, but it's pretty. It if it's really like about the members, it's hilarious. By the way, it's seven billion dollars GTA has made so far. From who said that? So far, thus that's what it says thus far. From it was, it was an article. It sounds so, way way too high. It says, uh, let's see here. Uh, where is it? So it's Sports Skeeta. It, it said it was a. Uh, it's on the website. It says it was an uh, Alan is he's an analyst on here apparently. It says by 2020 GTA has made over six billion. In recent years, it has made more profitable than, than its past years. Uh, let's see. It says it's, it makes roughly about 900 million a year. In the same survey, GTA 5 makes approximately 2.5 million a day. Jesus. So by I don't 2020, know if that's real, million. but if I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if it's around there. Yeah. Oh my God. 900 million. Jesus. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I know you don't have much to say about that, Alex, but if that ends up real, first off, a uh, soundtrack by the Wu-Tang Clan sounds awesome. Second, if it's really, if it's the, the combination of a Wu-Tang Clan fighting game with Wu-Tang Clan songs sounds really fun, too. That's cool. It but apparently crazy. it's some sort of RPG in the works at Microsoft. Interesting. In coalition with Bright, Breast Lightning. Collaboration, sorry. Uh, Vic Vicarious Visions, everyone, let's have a moment of silence for Vicarious Visions after this quick message. Vicarious Visions being oh, eight and alive by Blizzard. Reported a few weeks ago that they're being folded into a assist on Call of Duty with maps, video games, etc. Which is probably one of the saddest things I've had to read to you people in a long time. Vicarious Visions, you may know, has a number of titles listed among them. There's so many to list off. Let's start with a couple quick ones. Spider-Man for Game Boy and, of course, a bunch of sequels to that game. To the Tony Hawk games, to a number of Crash Bandicoot games, the talent that they've been making in their games will surely be missed in this place. Alex, come on, silence, please. RIP Vicarious Visions. Fantastic studio that is fallen to the Call of Duty. Going the way of Raven. And I'm very sad about that. Uh, of course, Raven made the X-Men Origins Wolverine game. Such potential. Wasted. To a simple assist studio. It's crazy. Very sad. No more Tony Hawk Pro Scare games made by Vicarious Visions. No Ooh. more Crash games. None of that. It's all gone. Bye. <laughs> Jokes aside, Alex. Very very sad to hear that. I, I know you are a fan of the Tony Hawk Pro Skaters. Lightly. Not a huge fan. Um, yeah. I liked the Crash Bandicoot game, so I'm going to miss him for that. Um, they made a number of those titles. And I remember playing them, almost all of them, on PS1 and 2. But yeah, this I wonder... This needs to stop. What? This Blizzard thing needs to end. <laughs> I just... I hate that. You don't have to do this. You, it's Blizzard. You know how much money Blizzard has? Hire another... Have a mass hiring event. They're, you don't... I don't know. I just... I hate... Because you know in a couple... In a couple months or a few years, we're probably going to see, oh, a huge layoffs, and all this is probably going to be thrown to the dust. I feel like, I feel like this, and nothing's happened because of tenure. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But 
Sorry to bring that news to you, Achievers. Had to be done. This is a quick one. Not much to say. Sony has added a label for their PC ports, simply named PlayStation PC. Uh, the only reason we know this is it was added to Days Gone on Steam quietly this week. No mention from any Sony blog post or anything. Just simply that PlayStation PC is now a header when you launch one of those games. So they have like an actual name for it now. And I don't think this surprises anyone that listens to this show, but they're going to keep releasing these PlayStation games on PC. Um, Alex, I want to, I have a question for you that I don't think will happen for a long time, okay. but I think PlayStation is dabbling in. Do you think they'll ever get to an Xbox day one release schedule for PC? What do you mean? Do you think PlayStation will go the way of Xbox? Releasing day one on PC and Xbox. Guaranteed. Oh. Hmm. So, God of War Ragnarok, day one. I'm not... I got you. I got as you. an I example, I'm not you. saying that's going to happen. Do you um, think that will ever happen? Yeah. I think the only way that does happen is they make a PlayStation launcher. So they make yeah. a PlayStation launcher. Yep. You buy PlayStation titles from them. They make you so they get the full cut because that is a lot of money they're giving up yeah. on Steam. That's isn't the cut thirty percent. They could probably haggle that down in some way, but I believe the cut's almost thirty. I think it's like a little less. I think the more money you make, the the less they take. I think or something like that. It's been a long yeah, time since I, I looked at that, it, but I think that's what. Yeah, if they had a launcher of their own, I think that they could just get all that straight through them. I know Epic Games was trying to entice them to exclusively launch there, I think. Which I don't think will ever happen, but is interesting to think about. And a good reason to say no to that is you plan on making your own launcher eventually. And I do think yeah. eventually they're going to have a PlayStation launcher. It's probably going to have some Sony branding on it. It's going to have like the PlayStation-esque thing. Now, I wanna, I'm want to. i very curious, Alex, if they're ever going to make a commitment to PC in a very specific verbal way. And what I mean by that is... I wonder if they're ever going to say, all right, all of our games that we wanted on PC are on there. You know, Days Gone, God of War, the Uncharted games, whatever. I wonder if they're ever going to go and say, look, we don't want to be confusing. We want to be straightforward with anyone. So from now on, one year from the release date on a PlayStation system, add a year to that, and that's when it goes to PC. I would personally love that. Just so it's just clear for everyone out there that's like, hey, you yeah. want to wait for PC? Well, you got to wait a year. Just so people know and you're not in this kind of guessing game of, is it going to come on PC? When is it? Do I have to wait three years? Because that's what you basically had to do for the God of War game. Yeah. Horizon, you had to wait longer, technically. Yeah, I, I'd, I would like that way better um, in the sense of like not or having to wait multiple years. Mm -hmm. Now, is it, would you rather. <sighs> Let's not forget, Nixus Software was purchased a few weeks mm. ago. If you don't remember who Nixus is, those are literally a PC porting studio. That is mm. what they do: port port games to PC. Now, Just would you rather would you rather that would you rather them do that, or would I mean I mean I guess of course everybody would rather have it on day one. Yeah, yeah um, all the achievers, all the PC achievers out there, I'm sure would be like, yeah, day one, please. I just want to play it on yeah. my PC. But PlayStation probably won't do that again unless they have their own launcher and they exclusively launch on there. If they yeah, do that, I, I could see that because that means they get all profits. They get to scoop it up in their little money bags and run away. Mm -hmm. I'll be, I, and I'd love to see a data point to see if... like, does, does someone like PlayStation lose anything for launching on PC. Now, of course, if they launch on Steam, they do. They lose a cut. But I'd be very curious if they would lose mm. any... If they would lose at all, m like, money in the back end, maybe over time or something, or will they only see additional revenue in a, with the addition of releasing on PC Day 1? I'm sure there's some data points that the accounting team and the... PR team and all these things have in their back pockets looking at and trying to do math like oh what should, what should we do here and that blah 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 yeah it's just fun speculation I don't know I don't know Grand Theft Auto San Andreas apparently is coming to Oculus Quest 2 that's a quick one to end on that is uh -huh. the news for the week 
before we get into what we've got queued for the week, I want a couple of date updates for you. November's PlayStation Plus lineup is uh, almost here. Knockout City, First Class Trouble, Kingdoms of Amalur, Re-Reckling are all available. Yeah. November 2nd. Grath of All, the Trilogy Definitive Edition launches November 11th digitally and December 6th as a disc. So very, very late if you want it physically, unfortunately, Achievers. Digitally, it will come November 11th. A standalone version of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Definitive Edition is coming to Game Pass Day 1. I think I covered all this last week, but let's just say it all Excuse again. Me. Grand Theft Auto 3 the Definitive Edition headed to PS Now on December 7th. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 has been delayed to spring 2022. I covered most of that last week, but let's just recover it again. And you know, you know what I'm doing, Achievers? Do this, click that, boom, it's all gone. I won't do that next week. But that's the date updates. That's the rumor roundup, and that is the news for the week. We like to end the show just like we begin it sometimes. But we're kind of doing it a little different this time. Now I have two questions for Alex. Usually we do this in reverse order, but I wanted to get right into the news after our very fun Halloween talk. One question, two questions today for you, Alex. Let's start with the first one. What have you been playing? So much. All right, so much list. for me too. Yeah. Would you like to start with the easy stuff? Yes. Go ahead. So, literally, I'm probably two, three hours away from finishing Tales. Cool. So, almost done with Tales. We'll have a spoiler cast very, very soon. Yes. Perfect. I, something happened. I'll tell you in a second, Achievers, why I'm not right there with him and beating the game. I got sucked <laughs> into another game that I'll tell you about in a second. Mm-hmm, hopefully mm-hmm. perfect scenario i get tails finished by november 7th there i said it now i have to do it i will have it finished mm. by november 7th that's a that's a thursday i believe yeah. because yeah because the fifth is a tuesday and that's when the call of duty comes out i will have it done by the seventh i promise now okay. next thing um i was gonna say i started far cry but I got sucked into trying to finish Tales and this other game. The, Very which quickly, I'm... before you get into that, I also started mm-hmm. Far Cry. The exact same thing happened with me with Alex. We are now going into Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. We have been playing that. I specifically have been playing that nonstop. I've been trying to. My feelings for this game specifically are so complicated, I cannot end this show with my thoughts on the game. However... I know achievers out there want to know my opinion if they need to buy it, if they need to wait, et cetera, et cetera. Very quickly, Alex, back me up if you agree, although you are early in the game. I have not finished the game yet. I am in the last hours, maybe three, four hours in the game. Alex, you were going to say something? I am halfway through the game. Halfway through the game. Alex is halfway through the game. I am almost, I could go leave right now, play about two hours and be done. You could, you could, you could, you could touch it. I could fondle it and be done. You could fondle it, yep. Now. This game has been incredibly decisive. People love it. People hate it. People can't stand it. People think it's game of the year. It's all over the place. I want to say one. Th- I want to say one thing. Mm-hmm. Do you love Guardians? Must buy. Yeah. If you love yeah. Guardians, it is must buy. As long as you're not super anal about things changing, mm-hmm. must buy. It's you. Do you love the, the kind of basic kind of action games? Do you want just dumb fun? I would say a must-buy. Dumb fun. You're looking for something deep. Deep narrative? Big maybe. We'll talk more about that with the review discussion spoiler cast that I have because, again, my thoughts on this game are so complicated. I cannot talk about it right now. There's so much I love. There's so much I hate. There's so much I want different. There's so much I wouldn't change. It's, it's all over the place. But, Alex, I want to know you're early in the game. What do you think? So far, I'm enjoying it. Okay. I mean... So far, I, what you played, would you usually, recommend this to an achiever? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, because when I came in playing this game, I had, I had very low expectations Oh for my it. god, the lowest. I had the lowest <laughs> like, I literally thought this game, I was going to turn it on, look at it, and it was like, I'm good, and okay. turn it off, and I even play it. Astute I'm halfway through the game, and I'm like, this game's fun. Astute achievers that have been listening to us... We have dogged on this game 
literally every single time it's been brought up. Now, I, this is the, now this is the second ahead. game this year that I've dogged on that I said I'm tired of seeing and it looks like shit and that I've really enjoyed. That's First, Death Loop. Loop. Yep. We all I really did, enjoyed that game. That was annoying. Yeah. They showed that way too many times. That's their yeah, fault. Yeah, exactly. Though. That's yeah. their fault. Then, That's not our fault. Yeah. It's theirs. Yeah. And Guardians. I'm really in, I'm enjoying it. I, like I, I'm actually. I want to be very clear about this. Whoever made the trailers for those Guardian trailers should be fired. I am not joking. Those people should be fired. The way you have portrayed this game is nowhere close to how this game actually is. Yeah. Whoever is mar- whoever whoever marketed this game should be fired. My God, because this game is this game's great. This game is great. There's so many character moments that I love. There's so many. Mm, there's so many Man. action pieces that I like. Pieces, yeah. The, the f- combat in the game is very complicated because I don't love it. My favorite thing in the game, the music. That's another problem with the game. Why is there not more music? Hmm. Why do you only get it? Achievers, slight, very, very, very slight spoilers. But there, and you would have seen this in the trailers. There's a huddle up it, mechanic, right. and, you, and it's basically say what they want you to hear, which the game tells you what they want you to hear. If yeah. you hit the right thing, everyone gets a boost of damage, and a song plays on your cassette player. Yeah. The song only plays for the duration of the buff, which is super yeah. annoying. Second, it doesn't play for nearly long enough. And then third, this game would have been way better if you could have just had this playing the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like if you had, if there was a thing where like, and maybe there's some sort part. of marketing thing you can't do that. Yeah. Maybe there's some legal thing, but go ahead. Yeah, if there was a, a way to be able to like, on turn it off or off, kind of like the radio in GTA or the radio in Forza, uh, like being able, it's like, oh, I don't want to listen to the music right now. I want to pay attention on like you know the like the bullets and things like that. Or if I want to just literally put headphones on and just start listening to stuff like it i mean they sh- you should have been able to, to do that i don't understand i don't understand why they didn't do that but they and they give you the option of doing that in other sections of the game okay i'll give you that but it's not the like, same like, thing. like 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 <laughs> Achievers, again, slightest spoilers. You can play the music on your ship. In your ship, yeah. But it, I, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. But I want it when I'm fighting. No, for so sure. Either I they need it. to make the huddle last way longer, or they need to put the thing from the ship portable. <laughs> like, yeah. like. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, just have a cassette player that you could hit play on player. whenever That's you want. Saying. Like, they should have make it to where you could play it during the game. Yeah. And again, maybe there's some weird thing contract. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever it is, I don't care. But. If you're gonna put this in the game, do it right. And this is not the this. And there's so many of this game. There's so many little. And I just things thought about it. Game. There's one more time that you can listen to music, but you're not doing anything. And you can't. And you, and you can't move. Because when you move, it messes it up. Let's just say it's called. It's called. I, I would call it a scenic, like or a scenic. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? A scenic touch. View? I don't know. I forget. Thank you. View. Scenic view. Yeah, you're looking at yeah. like some pretty stuff. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that. There's so much to talk about this game. I, I recommend it to any achiever that, again, you want some dumb fun, you want to ha- hang out with the Guardians. Um, I'm addicted to collecting the outfits for some reason. I am. I love it. I love collecting all the outfits. Um, it's an easy thousand. I'm going for the thousand, so I'll be doing that. I, lo- I like the game. I do very much like the game. There's just so much little stuff that I go... Why did you make this decision? Why did you make this weird combat decision? Why is the combat just hold right trigger the entire time? Why is that? Uh, sorry, Jeevers. Why is that? Why is it? The, why is there no combos in the game? Why is there even a melee if it's this terrible? Why is there a whole mechanic you don't even explain to people? There's just so much stuff. So much. Spoiler cast review discussion incoming i will have this done by this weekend alex no rush you just let me know when you're done we'll do the spoiler cast very excited for this i cannot wait to talk about this game this might be my most look forward to spoiler cast discussion because i think it's going to be such a deep 
talk about the whole granulars of this game. Like what we liked, what we didn't like. You don't want to talk about how JRPG Tales of Arises? (laughs) Tales? Tales is like a a, 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 a definition of a JRPG. It is. It is. (laughs) It is. But that, that's a whole other thing. We'll spoil the cast with that too. We'll yeah. Spoil the cast. Well, anyways, Alex, uh, you were gonna say something else. I think bef- after Guardians or no? No. No. Anything? No. Any lasting comments for the achievers before we leave them for the week? No. Okay. Uh, Achievers, you may have missed it, but we did do a couple of reacts to the DC fandom thing, Suicide Squad, uh, Gotham Knights, etc. Go check those out. Um, that's really all we have for you. I'm trying to think if I missed something. I don't think I did. There's that weird Buzz Light trailer that we're not talking about because no one will shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, that's it. I get it. It's Buzz. Relax. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining us, Achievers, for this week of the Easy Jeeves Gaming Podcast. Go have a fun Halloween, if you celebrate, of course. Go give out the candies. Go eat the candies. Go relax. Watch a scary movie or watch something fun. Me and the wife watched Hocus Pocus. It's a very, very fun movie. Very fun mm-hmm. movie. But until we see you next week, go eat candy and achieve. Achieve.